What's going on, y'all? Connor from Rock Pokemon here, coming at you with a Market Monday. Uh, summer has been crazy, been super busy with work and having fun with friends and just uh, running at a million miles an hour. Got sick for the first time in about seven years, so <clears throat> excuse me. Um, just wanted to kind of refocus, recenter, uh, tell y'all a little bit about uh, some pickups I've made, some PSA returns that came back, and then uh, my next submission, uh, which I think I am going to take advantage of the $18 PSA special uh, and send in about 20 or 30 cards. So let's start with, we'll leave that for last. We'll do this second and first, just a couple fun pickups. Um, shout out to my boy, Jared. Canto Shark, <clears throat> absolutely killing the game right now. Um, picked up this beautiful 9.5 Japanese base Gyarados from him. My favorite Pokemon of all time. One of my, honestly, my favorite cards of Gyarados. Just this original iconic Arita artwork. Um, come on, look at that freaking swirl, y'all. I mean, it's disgustingly good. So really excited about this upgrading. I have a PSA 9 in my collection. Honestly, I might just keep both, but um, this is beautiful. I'm also tempted to crack it, see if we can't uh, hit a PSA 10 with it. But, uh, you know, I like it. I think the blue label looks nice with the blue. So we'll let that sit in the CGC for now. And then shout out Jim Leader Taylor taken down the Eevee DP promo uh, hollow. Beautiful card, really fun one. Um, not like a crazy artwork or anything like that. It's just a classic Sugimori illustration, but you got the swirl there. And I love the DP trade please event promos. You know, there are a variety of ways to get these cards kind of throughout that whole event, 2007, 2008, but um, as an Evolutions collector and a lover of these DP promos, this is one I had to have and got a screaming deal for it. As a Evolutions collector, also got a screaming deal for this Pop Series 3 PSA 9 graded pack. Um, I am coming more and more to the realization that I don't mind... 8, 9, or 10 having uh, a pack graded across that grading spectrum because it's really about that authenticity, the cool displayability in these PSA slabs and new versions. Um, and it just, it really is honestly in a lot of ways a steal what you can get some of these for. Uh, especially the difference between a 9 and a 10 for a lot of them. So, I mean, this, this looks beautiful to me as an Evolutions guy. The Gen 1 Big 3 Evolutions can't go wrong there. So, um, <clears throat> next up, we will go over what I'm thinking about submitting here. So, we have the Bigfoot from Wilderness. You know, feel like this is... Um, and let, let me preface it with this. I'm thinking of taking advantage of the PSA uh, grading special because, honestly, a lot of these I'm probably going to sell. And I know that... PSA holds a good amount of value. A lot of people go first to PSA. Um, you know, for me, I really have enjoyed CGC for my personal collection as of late. Um, and I don't mind owning a PSA slab. And honestly, I can't send a Beckett because it's a nightmare. So um, we're going to take advantage of this, kind of see where we can go. So first is the Bigfoot from Wilderness. Very iconic card from that set. The Hawk from the Weiss Schwartz Avengers, Japanese. Uh, I think that's a really cool card. Um, torn on this one, might end up sending that to CGC because this might stay a PC card. Um, I love that purple background. I'm a bow hunter, so that's just a sick artwork. Um, Kirito and Asuna from Sword Art Online from the original trial deck uh, in Japanese. I think I might be able to tend that, tend that bad boy. So pretty stoked there. Then we've got some uh, 1996 Bandai Cardas. We've got Coughing. We've got Aerodactyl. We've got Lapras, and we've got Chansey. So some, uh, some. 
big hitter ones or some popular ones, right? Like with the Chansey and the Lapras, but then also uh, cards I need for my personal set, like the Coughing and the Aerodactyl. So Aerodactyl, very popular too, of course, but that Coughing, it's more, you know, I need something in my set and I have all PSA for that set. So I'm kind, except a couple of BGS. So uh, kind of sticking there for now. Then we have the awesome Pidgeot die cut. Uh, I'm super stoked to get this one grade and just see how it does. So I just think that's a really super, super unique card. <clears throat> a few more uh, tops era cards here. We have, let's start off with the, the humans. So we got Ash. We got the Misty Hollow. Love that one. Brock Hollow, TV4. Then we've got Jesse and James. I've got a Meowth somewhere. I don't think I'm going to grade it in this pile, but... um. Actually, I could do that. That would be a nice little trio to do the three of those. I should actually grab that. Let me grab that. I was saving it for another time. But that actually makes a lot of sense to do those together. There it is. Good old Meowth. So I think we'll send that one in too. That'll be a, that'll be a fun one with Jesse and James. Then a couple uh, tops, heaters, just really nice cards. The Gengar, non-hollow. The Grimer, hollow, in very nice condition. That's actually a really funny looking card. I actually really like that one. Um, and then the Kangaskhan as well. So some, some cool tops cards that I have grown to enjoy. <clears throat> and then we are going to finish off with... Some vending, so oh, that's out of order. So we got two horsey, two Cedras. It's just such a nice Kamiya artwork. Kazuki and Kamiya side by side. Then we've got the slow bro, of course, the Nishida artwork. Another gorgeous card. Uh, the Weezing by Kinabuchi. The Vulpix by Nishida. Another beautiful art. The Kamiya Growlithe. I mean, these are just stupid good, how these artworks work. And then you've got the uh, Ghastly and the Haunter. Really cool little pair there as well. Numbers 92, 93. And then a pair of Sprouts and a Cubone to knock it off. So, um, you know, I'll, I have some vending cards that I really like. I think they are super popular right now. Um, and I think they continue to have strength and popularity given just the ridiculous level of artwork. So I'm going to grade a bunch of those with PSA most likely and kind of see how we shake out. So excited for that. Probably 30 cards there or so. Um, maybe 31 because I added that uh, that Meowth. Um, my, my problem is I want to send a lot of this, including the tops, to CGC. But one, the $18 special is really nice. And two, the way that CGC is working now, like I don't think I can send all of these in bulk in the same batch because I just did a economy submission and like the tops are different size than like the Bondi which are different size than these. So like because these are different sizes, they go into like different group batches and so you have to pay shipping twice and i think then to do bulk that probably means i would have to have like 50 for each group um i don't know if that makes sense but that's something i've been kind of struggling with with cgc submission uh recently so hopefully they'll they'll sort that out because i've got so much mixed stuff i like to grade um what else is happening so we've got don machi Coming out this Friday, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? The White Schwartz set is coming out. And then we have Tokyo Revengers on the English side coming out either the following Friday or two after that. So really exciting month for Weiss. Been waiting months and months for those. Um, speaking of waiting months and months, picked up a first edition Misty Jim. Heroes pack from my buddy Glenn PokeJoe619 last March of 2021. Thought I'd send it in for my PC, get it graded, see how it did. There it is in all its glory, the OG waifu. And we hit the 10, y'all. So really stoked about this. Shout out again to my boy Jared at 
Canto Shark for middleman in that for me. He sent that in for me with a bunch of other stuff to PSA last year. So um, beyond stoked about this one. I mean, just really cool to see that. So really, really love that artwork. Just the gym sets are just something special for me, to be honest. I love them so much. And y'all saw I had some had some character cards in there from the anime from top. So so that's what's going on. Um, I, I truly do promise we are going to get to kind of this more, um, you know, financial literacy oriented series again. Um, I'll, I'll be doing a podcast in the next week or two with Rob as well, for sure. Um, just been busy. You know, it's summer, you know, people are out and about. I'm traveling. I'm doing a lot of work stuff. It's, you know, I'm spending a lot of my weekends out by the water, or, you know, whether it's having fun with friends or working or whatever. So I um, think it's totally fine for me to slow down a bit on content uh, during the summer, especially because a lot of people are outside and enjoying it as well. So, but I'm here, always here to answer your questions, uh, interact with you, hit me up, DM me on uh, Instagram, whatever. I'm around, love hanging out with you guys, love talking with the community. So I hope everyone had a great 4th of July and is having a great summer thus far. Uh, as always, I am Connor from Rock Pokemon. Be on the lookout for some really fun Weiss openings on this channel coming up. I am so stoked to have freaking Danmachi and Tokyo Revengers. So that's going to be awesome. Um, and yeah, so as always, collect what you love, but do it intelligently. See y'all soon.